What's up, guys? We're doing things differently today. So we are talking about uh, Mojo. Man, see, Nate's running the stream today, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna talk over him. But go ahead, Nate. So um, again, with we're showing off Mojo and his capabilities um, today. As you saw in the tweet, we we are playing Super Mario World. Uh, we're playing it via emulator uh, on the uh, Mojo Micro Console for Android. Uh, one thing that's uh, came out recently on Mojo is uh, a root. So any power user that's uh, familiar with rooting on Android on Android devices knows that uh, to get full potential and full access of uh, of Mojo Why don't you show them on the site? devices, <clears throat> you could actually uh, root the root the console. Let me see. Change it to site view on the on the screen. There so, we go. So if you go to the latest uh, article on madcast.com, you'll be able to see how you could actually unlock the Mojo with root access, uh, expand your Google Store playability, and then you could also go to the to the website. I mean, at, a lot of people Mojo. are going to ask, and 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 forgive me for speaking out of turn, Nate, but I mean, wh what can you do if you root your console? You actually get uh, full access to admin level of operations such as. Uh, doing stuff that you normally wouldn't be able to do. Like what? Like uh, on the wallpapers, you could set up custom wallpapers for uh, each individual screen, or put up uh, custom images uh, for loading and uh, viewing. Pretty, pretty much, it gives you access to do anything, like as far as customization wise. Yes. See, that's the kind of stuff I'd want to do on, at the get go. But it's, I think it's cool that we're supporting that. So. If anyone uh, is interested in that, we have that information on uh, madcats.com slash mojo. And forgive me if I sound like I don't know, know too much about this stuff. I, I, I'm honestly uh, not too involved with the mojo stuff here at Madcats. So anytime we get a chance to play with this stuff, it's like news to me. Uh, and then another place that's really good at um, going in-depth on uh, mojo and its capabilities is the XDA Developers Forum. So you can go to XDA... Uh, hyphen developers.com and then they have a, a subsection well, for just, Mojo. Just check out our article, we actually have it linked there. So make sure you just head to madcats.com, it's one of the first articles you'll see on the site. Or if you go on our exploration website, if you go to madcats.com slash mojo, um, underneath the first link you'll see there is uh, a link to our exploration site, you'll be able to access that through there as well. Yeah, let's take a look at the Mojo website. We don't need to take a look at it, I think. And here's the exploration site again, linking the uh, the un the unlock reading for Mojo. I think we, we should go in depth, like on that. Not today, but we'll do it at another time. I think we should just focus on the game. If you guys are unfamiliar with the Mojo, like Nate said, it's our Android micro console. Um, pretty cool. I mean, it it's really a, a machine of freedom. That's what I I like to call it. I mean, you can do all kinds of stuff on it. It's a media center. It could be a, a home office tool. You could use it for work, just internet browsing, watching movies, playing games, and not just the games that are available for it. But I mean, as you as you can see, the thing that we're probably spending the most time with it is with emulation. So it gives you really an access to all kinds of gaming and uh, all kinds of cool stuff. So if I could Instagram from it, I would. Well, you can, but I don't. <laughs> yeah. I'd use my I'd use my phone. But all right, thanks again for watching, everyone. Later, guys.